families. All right, today's the day I get Martin back for that ice cube chunk. Hey, creatures! Don't tell Martin where I went. All right, Chris, so what do you want to do? Chris? Where's Chris? I wonder where Chris is. Chris? You hear that? It's coming from the cave. I wonder what he's doing in there. I got it out! Get it out! Oh, nothing's better than getting your brother back with a joke. <laughs> Good one, Chris. Hey, wait a second. But if you were up there, then who's in there? A three-banded armadillo. Whoa. An armor covered, super clawed, ant-eating, run-around creature. That's who was making the noise. Hey, look at the way he rolls up into a ball. Hey, thanks for distracting Martin, buddy. Hey, speaking of buddies, let's call some Boomafu. Zabumafu! 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 Hey, there he is. What's leaping, Weaver? Hi, buddy. <laughs> How you doing? How are you? What are you doing under there? <laughs> Zabu, how's your family? Remember the time we met Zabu's mom and dad? Say garbanzo beans. That was great. How about brothers and sisters? Do you have any Zabu? Well, you know Zabu. No yakki? He's done some snacking. Garbanzo beans! <laughs> He's gonna love this. Hey Zabu, how about some garbanzo beans? <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Vuki. Hey, brothers. Hey, Zab. So, Zabu, do you have any brothers or sisters or what? Oh, yeah, I have a great sister and brothers, too. We always like to hang upside down to play. Yeah, well, that's because we live in a big forest. It's near a spiny desert. Spiny. That's just like the creature I saw on my way here. Spiny and a little sad. Sad? Yeah, sad. Who could it be? Who could it be? What? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had two round eyes on a face with no hair. And a nose that sniffed around everywhere. Everywhere! Who could it be? He was shaped like a ball, and his body was all prickly. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A prickly long nosed creature. Do you know who he is? Prickly body, a long pointy nose, as big as a kiwi, and all alone, a baby hedgehog. Mandahika, mystery animal is here. Wow. Look at the little guy. Wow, prickly on top and soft with little white hairs on the bottom. Whoa, he's a young one, he's just a baby. He looks like an African pygmy hedgehog. Yeah. He looks like he's still a little wobbly on his feet. Zabu, is this who you saw? Yeah, that's the one. Wow, you've got a nose like one of those snaky things that sprays water. <laughs> Zabu, hang on! <laughs> a hose, Zabu? Well, yeah, that's it. A hose. You've got a hose nose. Hey, that's what I'll call him. Hose nose. <laughs> Great. Hose knows the African pygmy hedgehog. My mind has a question. Hey, brothers, why is Hose knows a little sad? Well, it's strange that he's not with his family. Yeah, he's only three weeks old. He should be with his mother and his brothers and sisters. He's lost. Oh, no. If he doesn't have a family, we better find one. Don't worry, Hose knows. I'll make sure you find a family to live with. 
Can you help? Thanks. Okay, now, who could the family be? Oh, look, it's Chris and Martin, the lion cubs, yeah. Aha, uh -huh. we don't waste any time. This is the perfect family for Hose Nose. Chris and Martin, the lion cubs, can take him back to live with their family. Well, Zub, lions are pretty tough. Hose Nose will never have to worry about being picked on with lion cubs as brothers and sisters. You're right, but I don't think Hose Nose would fit in with the lion pride. Why not? Well, they're such different creatures. For one thing, lions eat meat, and hedgehogs eat worms and insects and stuff. Zabu, we'll show you how tough lion cubs can really be. Come on, Chris, let's practice our hunting. Yeah, you got it! <laughs> Way to go! He's got the towel! <laughs> Gosh, he has a pretty strong grip with his mouth. <laughs> Look! Chris and Chris in a tug of war! What do you think, Hose Nose? Is this the family for you? Well, maybe the lions are a little too big and fast for Hose Nose. Oh, and Hose Nose might not be the best hunter in the pride. Right, Sabu. Mm. In fact, these lions would probably see Hose Nose as a meal. Oh, that wouldn't be good. But a hedgehog can take care of herself. She doesn't need lions to protect her. Ow! Whoa! I see what you mean. He's small, but he has a great defense. When a hedgehog wants to protect himself, he rolls up into a little ball of spines. Spines are Mungatsika. They sure are, Zabu. And a lot of creatures have them for defense, like the echidna and the porcupine. Some caterpillars have spines, too. And don't forget the sea urchin and the thorny devil. But even with his spines, a hedgehog's no match for a lion. That's because lions can find their way around spiny defenses. Uh-oh, look sharp, everybody! Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, be you lion breath! I can't oh, smell oh. anything! <laughs> okay, so maybe a lion pride isn't the best family for a hedgehog to live in. We just need to keep looking. Let's go. Hey, looks like Martin and Chris are leaving. Bye, guys! Bye, Martin! Bye, Chris! Oh, I can't believe my mind! Look who's here! Munchak, dear! I'm glad you came, Munchak. You're just what we needed. Perfect. This is the family for Hose Nose. Problem solved. They don't look tough, and they're not hunters like lions. Hose Nose, this is the family for you. Hmm? Wait a minute. Not so fast, Sabu. First, we have to find out how Munchak deer live. Well, okay. How do they live? Munchak deer live either alone or in small family groups called herds. A mother deer has one fawn, which she raises for one year. This little Munchak fawn is only four months old. When he gets about a year old, he'll leave the herd and start one of his own. Now, the females usually stay and live with the herd, but the males leave after the first year. Well, then this is okay. Since Hose Nose is a boy, well, then, then he can live with the herd for a year. But Zabu, he's a hedgehog. And hedgehogs don't live in herds. After his mother raises him, he goes off on his own. <laughs> Look at how tiny his head is. It's only about the size of this apple. Munchak deer, one of the smallest deer in the world. Whoa, he jumped right over me. <laughs> Look at him go. Here he comes. Whoa, what a jumper. Here he comes again. Whoa, <laughs> he's doing laps around Animal Junction. Hey, he might be thirsty. Want a drink? Not yet. Whoa, amazing jump! You want a drink? Still not thirsty. I'm getting thirsty just watching him. Whoa! Huh? Mangatsika, he zigs, he zags, he's all over the place. Look at this little guy go! Now you're seeing the biggest reason that this is not the right family for Hosnos. This little guy never stops. Hose Nose just doesn't bounce, run, and jump like a munchak. How would Hose Nose keep up with this herd? Oh, you're right. This isn't the right family for Hose Nose. Hey, I'm having a little trouble finding you the right family, but, uh, well, don't worry. You'll have a family soon. Just relax and listen to my story from Zabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, <laughs> leap, 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 leap. But then I saw something that made me stop in my hop. 
tracks. Whoa. I have to follow these tracks, and that's what I did. Until the tracks oh, led down. me to Sensen, oh, no. who was standing oh, oh. under a striped fruit tree. Oh, hi, Zabu. Well, hi, Sensen. Did you make these footprints? Oh, just the big ones. <laughs> well, who made the little ones? Oh, oh they did. Oh, my little sisters. Come on down. Come on down. I'm babysitting today. Oh, do you want to help me? Yeah, sure, Sensen. So we took care of Sensen's little sisters. We played with them. And we fed them. Here you go. <laughs> Don't heat up. Yes. You can have the whole thing. <laughs> and we gave them lots of attention. Because that's what a sensitive family does. They take care of each other. So we took care of them very well. Because they need us to take care of them. And you know what? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> the end. So did you like my story, Hose Nose? Manga Chica, you found a father! Hey, brothers! Hose Nose has the perfect family! <laughs> a bearded dragon! Yeah, well, since he eats insects and stuff just like Hose Nose, and they both move kind of slow, this is the perfect family! <laughs> Except for one hmm? thing, Zabu. A bearded dragon doesn't have a family at all. From the moment he hatches, he's on his own. His mother and father just don't take care of him. There you go. But how does he eat? Where does he sleep? All that stuff. His instincts tell him, Zabu. He just knows. Lots of creatures have to take care of themselves, Zabu. Like sea turtles. Every year, a sea turtle mom travels for miles to come to the beach, dig a nest, and lay hundreds of eggs. By the time the eggs hatch, the mom is long gone, and the baby sea turtle is on her own. But the baby sea turtle has instincts. Somehow, she just knows that she has to make it across the beach to the ocean. But first, she has to get past predators, like vultures, frigate birds, coatis, caracaras. Once a baby turtle makes it past the beach into the water, she's home, and her instincts tell her how to survive. But creatures like a baby hedgehog have to be taught things, and they have to be taken care of by their parents. So this won't work either. Well, I guess it's just you and me, Hose Nose. You can come to Madagascar with me. You'll meet my mom and my dad and my brothers and my sisters and... Mungatsika? Who are you and, and who are you? Wait a sec, I know who you are. <laughs> You're Hose Nose's mother and Hose Nose's whole family. We did it! We found Holznose's creature family! And you know what? I feel hedgehogish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel hedgehogish. How about you, hedgehogish? I feel hedgehogish. Hedgehogish. I'm a roly-poly, prickly ball looking for my mama. Hedgehogish. I can do this. Is it better like this? Now that I'm a hedgehog, maybe I'll be in the hedgehog family. Well, you'll fit in well, Zabu. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to roll into a ball like the hedgehogs. <laughs> What's it like, brothers? I, I mean, being in a hedgehog family? Oh, well, for starters, a mother hedgehog can have up to 10 babies, but hmm? this, ooh, ow, this one has Sorry. two. <laughs> well, uh, I'll call her uh, Hedge and uh, Hog and, and Hose Nose, of course. Good names. <laughs> you know, um, the mother hedgehog takes care of the baby hedgehogs till they're about seven weeks old and ready to go off on their own. Mm. Yeah, she keeps them warm and cozy in the den. Huh. She feeds them and she gives them milk. Well, what about Goobleberries, huh? And she's feeding Hosnose right now. I'm glad we found Hosnose's family. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing better than a happy family. Yeah. And I never knew there were so many kinds. Yep, all sorts of families, and they all work in different ways. In a prairie dog family, only mom takes care of the babies. But dad does his part. He stands outside and protects the home. Baboons are a little different. They live in groups called troops, and although mom's number one, 
Everybody works together to protect and teach the young baboons. Everyone wants to be a part of a baby baboon's life. Another amazing family is the ostrich family. Both mom and dads make sure the babies are fed and safe. There's a lot of families out there. Mm, they all work great. Great, the hedgehog family's going home. Bye, hose nose. Bye, hedge. Bye, hog. See you later. There they go, living free and in the wild. Incoming, duck! Hi, Blink. You're no duck. She's a great horned owl. And look what rode in with her. A message? From Amy. Hi guys, hi Zabu, Amy here. Today I helped a dog find a family. My friend Jake wanted a dog, so I said, why don't you get a dog from the animal shelter? So Jake asked his mom if it was okay, and it was. So once his mom said it was okay to get a dog, I took him to the animal shelter. Jake got a dog he loves, and the dog loved him too. Now Jake has a great friend, and the dog has a loving family. See you later, guys. Amy is always great to creatures. Yeah, and there's nothing like giving a lonely puppy a great home. Because creature families doesn't always mean the same kind of creatures. Hey, Martin, what do you say we go and live with a totally different creature family? In Africa? To the closet! Sounds like a trip to me. Right, Blink? They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet uh -oh. to grab their stuff. You know what always happens when we open the closet. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> Binoculars! They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. Let's go they're spot some creatures. Creature families, here we come. <laughs> You coming, Martin? Yeah, let's go! See you later, Zabu! Bye, brothers! We're here on the African savanna, looking for a great creature family to live with. There are all kinds of creature families out here, like those sesame. Awesome. And over there, Impala. Hey, a mom and her baby. Right now, she's all legs. Lions. I've always wanted to be a big cat. Let's see what life is like in a lion pride. Looks like they're just chilling out right now, enjoying the African sunshine. A family of lions, called a pride, is made up of many females and their young, plus a single or group of male lions who are part of that pride and maybe a few others in the area. <laughs> Those two are having a great time. Don't you love these guys? Lion cubs take turns being the hunter and the hunted. Check it out. That's how they practice hunting. That's what we gotta do if we're gonna be part of the pride. Let's start by waiting and listening like the lions. Martin, something's up. Yeah, I know, but what? I think they're on the prowl. We'll hunt like lions. Lions are the only big cats that hunt cooperatively. That really improves your chances of eating. A lion family works together to hunt their prey. Ready, brother? Ready. I'll be the lion that waits here and watches the prey. And I'll be the lion who stalks around and over to the other side of the prey. I'm in position. Now I'll slowly push the herd towards Martin, the other lion waiting in the grass. The lion moves slowly and quietly towards her prey. There they go. And when they run by, I leap out and grab one. My lion partner's doing his job. They should be close by soon. Time to charge now! <gasps> uh, 
I guess they only stop for lions. You're right, Martin? <laughs> yeah. But you know, we'd never make it as lions. We could never catch anything. But you know, when lions catch something, everybody gets a share. That is, if there's enough to go around. What do you say we catch a bite ourselves? Yeah, back at Animal Junction. What do you think Zabu's up to now? Whoa. Sounds like he's up to his tooth coating. Fun! Well, let's go! Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. Hey, brothers! Tiger Stripe came to visit, and I'm taking care of her! It looks like she's <laughs> taking care of you, Zabu! Oh, yeah, she's a good player. Aren't you, Tiger Stripe? Yeah. <laughs> Puppies like Tiger Stripe love living in human families, but it can be hard for a puppy to figure out how to live in one. That's because we're people and puppies are dogs. And the best way to make a puppy feel at home is to think like a dog. Think like a dog? How do you do that? Well, Zob, for one thing, a lot of people don't like when dogs jump up on them. Mm. But if you understand dogs... You think like a dog? Then you'll understand that they're just jumping up to greet each other mm. while dogs lick and rub each other's faces. Mm. African wild dogs live in packs. They're incredibly social creatures. When they lick each other's faces, they're saying, Hi, where have you been? Glad you're back. So a puppy is just jumping up to say hello. Yeah, and going down to a dog's level is a great way to say hello and teach them not to jump up. Besides, life at dog level is a lot of fun for you and your dog. Hello, Tiger Stripe. I'm thinking like a dog. I'm doing the secret dog-style greeting so you don't jump up. Hey, do you want to hear a story about Zabu Land? Yeah, she can chew on some wood chips and listen. Okay, I was leaping along. Leap, <laughs> leap, leap. I was looking for Sensit and his Sensit family. I sniffed to see if I could smell him out. Well, that's what he'd do if he wanted to find me. Huh, well, that wasn't working, so I called him. Hey, Sensit! Where are you? Sensit! Huh. Oh, oh Sensit! Hi, Zabu! Hello. No, I'm freaking out. Have you seen my sisters? No, oh, I've lost them again. Oh. Well, no, but I'll help you find them. Use your ears. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, oh, and yeah. oh, there's somebody over there. No, no, yeah, come on, Gobo, Gobo, have you seen my sisters? Oh, not today. Oh no, I was looking for Gobo Bear. Oh, oh, more voices that way. No, no, I think we're getting closer. They're playing with Fibby. Since its sisters were playing the Fibby flip-flop game again, and they were having a great time with their Aunt Fibby. Here in Zabuland, everybody's family. <laughs> the end. Great story, Zabu. Well, thanks. Yeah, you know, a way that dogs and humans are a lot alike is that we're both smart creatures who just want to be loved. It's important to train your puppy when she's young and to train yourself to do it properly. A good dog training book can really help. But the most important thing is to give your puppy a lot of love and to spend a lot of time with them. Yeah, and then you'll be a happy creature family together. <laughs> <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today! Yeah. Well, I gotta get back to my own creature family. See you later, brothers! Say hi to them for us, Abu. Bye, buddy! There are all kinds of creature families out there. Yeah, but your own creature family is always the best creature family. Come on, Tiger Stripe! Good girl! Hi, I'm Sasha. And this is Sasha too. He's a greyhound who was adopted. Green creatures. We're almost there, Martin. Let's go. 
let's kick it into high gear. Whoa! 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 Oh. Oh. I don't remember that tree being there. I don't remember any of these trees being here. Check it out. Animal Junction is packed with plants. Plants are everywhere. And where you'll find plants, you'll always find animals. Hummingbirds are always sticking their faces in flowers looking for nectar. And koalas love chewing down on eucalyptus leaves. Guess who loves leaping through the trees? You know it, Zaboomafu! Let's call him. Zabu! Hey, Zaboomafu! Zaboomafu! <laughs> nice leaping, Zabu! Have a look at this place. It's like a forest. Just your kind of place. Zabu's made for leaping through the trees. His legs are built specially for tree leaping. That's why he looks so funny when he tries to leap along the ground. His legs don't walk, they leap. And his mouth doesn't talk, it eats. Eats first, then talks. Zabu broccoli! Yeah, you love broccoli, don't you, buddy? You can't have them all. Here, wait, just take one, just take one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there! Green is a yummy color and Animal Junction is looking yummier than ever! Green creatures everywhere! And that's your favorite color, right, Sal? Oh yeah, but I like all colors! Blue, red, yellow, green... Green! The creature I saw was green! Was? Yeah! A funny, round, green creature! Who could it be? She was green and round and hanging from a tree. Then she fell off. <laughs> Who could it be? This animal who I did see. She was smooth and round and yummy too. Creature. Do you know who she is? Green and round, mm -hmm. smooth and round. Mm -hmm. It's Toothbrush! <laughs> I named him Toothbrush because of his hairs. They're like the hairs on this thingy you brush your teeth with. So Zabu says the mystery creature is riding in his trunk. Let's see. A lime! The mystery creature is a lime! <laughs> the mystery animal's here and she's a lime! <laughs> Well, she's a green creature. The trees are alive. This might not look like a creature, but inside this fruit, there are creatures. Two seeds will grow into a special tree called a Mexican lime tree. Now, I think somebody right here wants the fruit. Down the hatch. All these creatures are alive. They just don't walk around and talk like we do. Manga, Zika, brothers, my mind just had the idea of the century. You guys are always building machines, right? Well, today, I'm going to build a machine. I'm going to build a machine that talks to plants. The green speaker. <laughs> All I need is some tools. Do you think you can do it, Zob? It'll be easy. <laughs> easy. Do you really think Zabu can build a machine that talks to plants? Do you really think so, Popcorn? A machine that talks to plants? How you doing, Zob? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm almost done. Popcorn, this is gonna be the greatest invention of all time. Soon, we'll be talking to plants. I just know these plants have a lot to say. Yeah, you do too? <laughs> I can't wait. Stand back, cause here I go. Finished, King of Juice, Binturongs, and monkeys, it's finished! The greatest lemur invention of all time, the green speaker! <laughs> Watch my machine, Popcorn. Now listen while the plants talk to me. Uh, hello, plants. Uh, uh, how are you? Huh, nothing. 
Well, you know, don't worry about it, Zabu. Here, let's plant these lime seeds. Oh, okay. Here, here's one for you. Okay. Come on. I thought it was gonna work. Why don't you plant the seed here? Good soil. Oh, you're talking! My green machine worked! <laughs> hey, down here! If you plant me here and help me grow, I'll give you a surprise. Well, uh, of course. I love surprises. Surprises are my favorite kind of prizes. Um, you just tell me what to do, right? I'll call you, uh... A seed prize. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Chris, come here. The plants are all alive. Listen, they're talking. Well, anything can happen in Animal Junction. But I don't hear anything, Zabu. Well, he said if I helped them grow, he'd give me a surprise. Okay. Well, there are three things a plant needs to grow. Sunlight, uh -huh. good soil, and water. Oh. Well, what about here? Yeah, there's lots of sunlight, and the soil looks really good. Don't forget water, Zabu. Okay, water coming up. Do your stuff, toothbrush. <laughs> toothbrush! Ooh, nice shot, toothbrush. <laughs> you got me. You know what? Now that the little seed has what he needs to grow, I can have a leaf snack break. <laughs> oh, hi. Who are you? He's a two-toed sloth, Zabu, and he loves eating green creatures. Wow. He eats leaves and bark. You move so slow. Hey, that gives my mind an idea. That's what I'll call you, slow. Mangatsika, there's another one. I'll call him slower. Good name, Zabu. That's because sloths take their time. They just move around very slowly. The big reason for this is that they have to conserve energy to digest all the leaves they eat. Well, green is a yummy color, isn't it? Dig in. Easy, guys, easy. I need those leaves. That's where I make my food. The trees are alive. <laughs> We're always alive. But we need those leaves so we can turn soil, sunlight, and water into food that makes us Whoa. grow. Like that. Only we grow much slower. Wow. So that's how you do it. But we need your leaves to grow, too. Well, um... How about if uh, Slow and I uh, weed a few leaves here and, th and then we move on to a tree over there? Well, then there'll be plenty of leaves left. Good plan. Hey, Martin, come here, quick. What, Zabu? Well, listen. What? Well, huh? he was talking. Who, the sloth? No, 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 the tree. Yeah, lemur's honor. The tree was talking? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you heard him, didn't you? Uh, Fling, did you hear him? Zabu, come here. What? Do you know who this is? Your seed, he's growing. Oh, seed prize, look at you, you're all grown up. Oh, I want to talk to him, where's the green speaker? Uh, green speaker? Fling, Fling has oh. your green speaker. Oh no, oh no, no, Fling, don't throw it or it'll break. I'll get it. Got it. Phew, that was close. If the green speaker broke, well, I'd never be able to talk to seed prize again, and then I'd never find out what the surprise is. Thanks, Chris. Do you think this green speaker really works? Of course, yeah! <laughs> wow. Ooh. Zabu, your tree grew even more. <laughs> I'm a Mangatsika tree grower and I didn't even know it. And it's a good thing I like surprises, because that's what I'm going to get for helping seed prize grow. Yeah. What do you think, Kinkajou? Uh, wait, let's see. He loves it. <laughs> the Kinkajou loves it. And trees only grow this fast at Animal Junction. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, he's into your machine, too. Oh, yeah. Whoa. And Zabu, look at this. Huh? Here's a surprise for huh? you. Your tree grew flowers. Oh, yeah. Well, they make seed prize look nice. But not only that, Zabu, check out this flower. See these stalks with the yellow bulbs on top? Oh, yeah? They're called stamens. Stamen. And they make the yellow stuff called pollen. Pollen. Oh. Now, the pollen has to get from one plant to the next plant so that the plants can make more seeds. Ooh. Well, you better get going, pollens. To get going, they need help from pollinators. Kinkajous are great pollinators. A kinkajou loves to eat nectar from a flower, so he sticks his head in, and then you know what happens? He gets all of the pollen on his head. And then when he goes over to another flower, he brings that pollen with him, and the pollen gets stuck on this little red thing there. And now this flower has everything it needs to make seeds to make new plants. There are lots of different pollinators in the creature world, like butterflies, and bugs, and bees. 
Bees have really hairy bodies that a lot of pollen sticks to. And then they go over to the next flower and some of that pollen falls off. Zabu, now I need pollen so I can make seeds. The tree's alive. Brothers, come quick. What's up? The what? seed prize just asked me to get some pollen so she could grow some seeds. Listen. I don't hear anything. Oh, no. Not again. Well, you heard her, right? Well, Zabu, if you want to keep trying to help the tree grow so you can find out what the surprise is, why don't you start pollinating like a bee? Oh, OK. Just call me Zabi. Get it? Zabi? Because I'm a bee, and I'm feeling kind of bee-ish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel bee-ish. How about you, bee-ish? I feel bee-ish. Bee-ish. A striped little buzzer moving pollen all around. Bee-ish. Zabi the pollinator is finished, and Zabu the lemur is ready for his surprise. <laughs> Zabu's green speaker. Fling's flinging it again. Oh, no. I'll get it. <laughs> yeah. Well, if that thing broke, I wouldn't be able to talk to the plants anymore. And I'd never find out what their surprise is. I think you're getting it right now, Zabu. Look! Zabu's tree grew little limes. Look at them. But that's not all. Hang on! Ah! Fruit is falling! Fruit is falling! Ah! It's fruit surprises from all the green creatures! <laughs> Treat for all of us! Dig in, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Green creatures make the yummiest things. Mm, it's good, huh? Look at the huge bites the kinkajou takes out of this pear. Wow. Another creature who loves what green creatures can do. <laughs> That's the yummiest surprise I've ever seen. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Does an elephant peel a banana? He mushes it up in his trunk, but he eats it, peels and all. Fling likes fruit from the banana tree. Look at how he puts it in his mouth and then spits it out again. Fling doesn't like to waste any banana. Now, you know, when you think about it, whenever you eat fruit, you're eating something that a green creature gave you. See, did I ever tell you about the time we almost ran out of goobleberries in Sabu Land? I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I almost leaped, whoa, right into Wiggy Waxwing. What's the matter with everyone? We're hungry, Zabu. Yeah, there's only one goobleberry bush left for all of us. Just one. Oh. Must eat, must eat, must oh, eat. Oh, no. Oh. Google's going to eat all the goobleberries. Never fear. Zabu the super lemur is here. Oh, wait, 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 Google. Inside these goobleberry fruits are seeds. Well, if we plant these seeds in the ground, a whole new goobleberry bush will grow, and we'll have lots of goobleberries. But how are we going to plant them, then? I can't dig with these small arms. I can dig holes. Great idea, Noggin Drill. So I called Buggy and jumped on his back with a pile of goobleberries with Narchi underneath. So while Noggin Drill dug holes, I loaded Narchi's nose, and he blew goobleberries in all the little holes all over Zabu land. Google kicked the dirt over the seeds, and before long, new goobleberries grew all over Zabu land. Yeah, it worked. Ah. A super lemur saved the day with his brains. I love that lemur. And everyone had lots to eat. The end. <laughs> You have great stories, Zabu. And green creatures have great surprises. Green creatures are the greatest creatures around. <laughs> yeah, even though they don't talk. They do talk. Pass me the green speaker. Okay. <gasps> oh, no. It's smashed. Well, don't worry about it, Zabu. You learned so much about plants today, didn't you? Besides, maybe the plants only wanted to talk to you. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> only us. Incoming duck! It's not a duck, it's Moonface, the barn owl. Hi, Moonface. Moonface, do you like apples? He doesn't eat fruit, hmm? Zabu. But hmm. a toucan does. Beaks up. A nice catch, toucan. 
Well, maybe Moonface can't do that, but he does have a message. From the animal helpers. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. I love strawberries, so I planted some in my garden. I watered them and took care of them. And now they're ripe and ready to pick. Mmm, and boy, they are good. Oh, I see somebody else who loves strawberries. I better not eat them all. Because today, I'm helping my mom make strawberry jam. And you know what the best part about making jam is? Eating it! The green creatures help everybody. Yep, and now it's your turn to help them, Zabu. Okay, I can do that. Hey, Popcorn, I brought all the grapes you can eat. Here, help yourself. Yeah, yummy, huh? Yep, dig in. Red is a yummy color. Oh, excuse me, here, want some more? When you've eaten the fruit, you're ready to plant the seeds. Because when a creature eats fruit, she eats the seeds, too. Then she carries the seeds in her body to another part of the forest and drops the seeds off in her poop. And that's where another tree will grow. So animals help plants by moving their seeds around. See ya, Popcorn. Oh. I think Popcorn's going to drop off seed more right now. Seed more? Yeah, that's what I named the seed that Popcorn ate. Well, let's follow Popcorn and see where she puts seed more. But first, to, to the, the closet. closet! Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. It's now or never. Do it, brother. Hey, hey. you're right. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zabu. Hi, brothers. I'll be fixing the green speaker. Yeah. Well, we made it to India. And if Popcorn's heading home, he should be just up ahead. <laughs> I can't say anything. Oh, I can't either. It's thick in here. Oh, where do we go? Whoa! Look out! Whoa! Woo! Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, but look what we found. An old Indian ruin. Wow, let's check it out. Big door's locked. But the little door's open. Come on. This place is awesome. You're telling me. Wow, this fortress was built over a thousand years ago. That's a lot of years. But now it's deserted by people anyway. And since there are no human creatures here anymore, the green creatures are coming back. They're taking over and making a forest again. Making a forest again. Making a forest again. Look at the way the fig tree wraps itself around the pillar and sends its roots down into the ground. And look at this. Check out how the roots find their way through the cracks and go in and out the building. They'll go through anything to get to the soil. Listen, it's coming from inside. Let's take a look. Bats, they're tomb bats, and there are about 30 of them living in this ancient schoolhouse. Amazing, it's their home now. And you know what? Green creatures are making it possible for all sorts of other creatures to move in and make this fortress their home. Langer monkeys jumping from tree to tree. Wild dogs on the run through the forest. And the tiger camouflaged in the grass. <laughs> and the wild pig rooting in the soil for food. A lot of creatures love these bear fruits. And by eating them, they plant more seeds. Let's help these creatures plant more seeds so even more creatures can grow. Furball? Furball. <laughs> nice shot! <laughs> Thanks! Let's see your swing, Chris. All right. Woo! Hole in one. Take that! <laughs> I've been working on my short game. Yeah! Woo! Oh, yeah! Right in the pocket. Sunk it. 
Next shot's the winner. Miss. Oh. That's a buzzer. Miss. Oh. Score? Who made the winning basket? Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Popcorn. Hey, you won the burr ball game, buddy. And Seedmore won too. Happy growing, Seedmore. Let's head back to Animal Junction. Great, I'm starving. I wonder what Zabu's up to. Let's find out. Zabu! Where are you, buddy? Pizza! Spaghetti! Yum. <laughs> hey, brothers, I caught you. We fell for the oldest trick in the creature world. Good one, Zabu. Thanks, I did it just like my pal. I'll be right back. How was that, Venus? Perfect. I'll show you what I do again. See that fly? I'll catch him. Mungatsika, brothers, come quick. The plants are alive. This plant here can catch flies, just like I caught you. Well, let us out of here, Zob. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Zabu. Whoa, Venus fly traps. Yeah, and Venus just showed me how to catch a fly, and she just trapped a fly. Well, tell him, Venus. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> I don't know about plants talking, Zabu, but I know what you're talking about. See that water in there? Those are sugary droplets that flies love to eat. That's why the Venus flytrap makes them, to attract the flies in. Well, that's why I put pizza and spaghetti out for you guys, because I know you like to eat it. <laughs> right, and it worked. And when a fly comes in to get the sugar, his legs touch the inside of the plant. And that's when the jaw-like things of the Venus flytrap snapshot, and she catches the fly. Why do these plants need to eat flies? I thought you said plants only need soil, sunlight, and water, and they can make their own food. You're right, Zabu, but Venus flytraps live in areas where there isn't much nutrients in the soil. So, they eat flies to get their nutrients. Wow! Do you want to see her do it again? Pretend this is a fly. Whoa, nice catch! Green creatures are amazing! <laughs> no. Hey! That reminds me of a special berry that grows on Mount Sabumafu. Really? In Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bumped into Sensit. <laughs> Oof. I said, hello, Sensit. Oh, hi, Zabu. I'm worried, really worried. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't find my little sister. <laughs> can't find them anywhere. <laughs> Even my super senses can't find them. <laughs> no, no, no. If we were taller than the trees, we'd see them for sure. No, but we're not taller. We will be. Hey, Snow Lemur, you have a growberry? Oh, sure. Uh, sure, Zabu. Uh, one growberry uh, coming up. Uh, I mean, uh, down. Yeah, down. Oh, here it comes. Oh, oh watch out. Oh. 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 <laughs> there, one for you and one for me. So we ate the growberries and we grew bigger and bigger. We grew so giant that we could see clear across Zabu land. Oh, there they are, my little sisters. They're with Bibi. Oh. Here, Sensit, have a shrink berry. So we shrunk back to normal size and went over to Phoebe's pool. <laughs> I found them! Thanks, Zabu! Anytime, Sensit. Sometimes it's good to grow tall. And sometimes it's good to be small. Yeah! The end. I just love those green creatures. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah! See you later, guys. I got an apple seed to plant. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Zabu. Keep on leaping, Lemur. See you later, buddy. And we'll see you later, too. Hey, Chris, you know, I wonder, did Zabu's green speaker really work? I don't know, but he sure knew a lot about plants that we didn't tell him. Yeah. The green creatures are alive. Hi, my name is Sam. This is my dog, Cleo. Come along and see what's new. At Animal Junction, we're waiting for you. Zabu Riffle. Super Lemur! 
I loved floating by those lions. Hey, Martin, who do you think's stronger, a lion or a tiger? I don't know, I think I'd have to go with a lion. Really? I'd go with a tiger. Hey, everybody, there are lots of strong creatures out there. Like an elephant. An elephant is strong enough to knock down a tree. And what about an ant? For his size, an ant can carry an enormous load. And you know who else is pretty strong for his size? Can you guess? You got it, Zabumafu! Let's call him. Hey, Zabu! Zabu! Zabumafu! Zabu's here. We're gonna have fun. Check out Zabu doing the one-armed lemur hang. Amazing. I gotta try that. Ugh. I'm doing it, but I can't hold on as long as Zabu can. Ah! <laughs> nice try, though, Chris. Right, Zabu? Huh? Got ya. <laughs> a good shot. A kiwi. It looks a lot like a mud ball, but it's a snack. Zabu, a kiwi. There you go, Zabu. Lemurs love kiwi, don't they? Hi there. Chris did the one-armed lemur hang pretty good, but the crap of the splat was even better. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Zabu. It was a lot harder than it looked. Hey, who's that? This? This is Captain Creature, a really, really strong superhero. Wow. Hey, I want to be as strong as Captain Creature. Well, if you want to be strong, Zabu, you have to exercise. Well, okay, let's exercise. I want to be a superhero. I'll be Zabu, the super lemur, and I'll save creatures everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to help Zabu become a superhero? Yeah, you can help too. It's open my old pal. I just saw him in the forest. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess? This mystery! He was black and small with a roly poly body. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Mongatsuka! Mongatsuka! Animal! And he was so strong, he could lift a rock. This mystery. Little black bundles of muscles. Do you know who they are? All right, let's try and guess this one. Roly poly bodies. Lots of muscles. Muscles. <gasps> muscles the black bear cub. It looks like he brought his sister, too. <laughs> Great. Hey, hi there. Welcome to Animal Junction, muscle sister. See, you mystery animals are here. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you again, buddy. You want to see what's new in Animal Junction? <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Zabu's wrestling with his sister in there. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I give her a name. Give her a name. Hey, I'm going to call you Muscly, because you look strong, too. You know, I want to be a superhero. Do you think you can help my muscles get stronger? I think she wants to, Zabu. <laughs> well, I think Muscles wants to help, too. Mangatsika. I'm gonna be the strongest lemur around. <laughs> well, let's go. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> let's go. You mean you want to wrestle me? <laughs> got you now. All right, here we go. Look, look at this roly poly little bear. She loves to wrestle. Muscles likes to wrestle too. <laughs> <laughs> You're one strong bear cub. How do they get so strong? Well, one way is by playing with each other. Play wrestling makes a creature's muscles strong and healthy, just like when you wrestle with your friends. The more you wrestle, the stronger you get. And bear cubs spend a lot of time playing together because bears have to get really strong to survive in the wild. Zabu, if you want to get strong, a great way to do it is to wrestle with a bear cub. Okay, wrestling with bear cubs. 
but you can only wrestle with bear cubs in Animal Junction. Okay, Muscly, I'm ready for you to show me how to be strong. Whoa, whoa, wrestling with a bear. <laughs> oh, you're good. <laughs> good job, Zabu. But now it's Muscle's turn. I'm wrestling with muscles. This is going to make me strong as a superhero. <laughs> Oh, do the bear hug! Yeah, I'm on top! Whoa! Those bear cubs are sure giving Zabu a good workout. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling with a bear cub is a great way to turn your lever muscles into superhero muscles! <laughs> way to go, buddy! <laughs> uh, uh, thanks a lot! That was no problem, yep, yeah, no problem at all! What's next? <laughs> Over here, Zabu! Musli is flipping rocks. Good one, Musley. An adult black bear can flip a hundred pound boulder with one paw swat. Munga, Sika, that's strong. Yeah, and if you want to be strong, you better start flipping rocks like a bear. Okay, hey, there's some right now. Hey, Muscles, watch this. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, I can do this, I can do this. Okay. Okay. Ready? Tail, tail, tail! My kid, somebody got that off my tail! You okay? Oh, my poor tail. Oh. Hey, look at these guys. That's who the bears are looking for when they flip rocks, huh? Zabu. Wow. They find them and then they lick them up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a bear loves to chow down on insects, and she knows exactly where to find them under rocks and logs. With her strong muscles, she can flip a log and then lick up the insects underneath. <laughs> no, 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 don't lick me up, Musly. You're supposed to be licking those insects. <laughs> <laughs> find a bug, find a bug. <laughs> bug, I'm out of here. See you later. Hey, great idea, Zabu. Whoa. One, two, three. Hey, muscles, look at my muscles. I think they're getting stronger. 11, 20. Hey, Zabu, how about a snack? <laughs> oh, no, I'm in training. I'm too busy. All right, see you later. Ah! Whoa. I need help here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom. Huh? You get a one-minute break before your next exercise. Huh? Starting now. Woo! That's just enough time for me to tell a story from Sabu Land. I was leaping along. <laughs> weep, leap, weep. When I saw everybody oh, running around, oh, afraid. Oh, oh, I'm freaking out. Oh, oh. I should become a vice. Oh. Ain't good, I tell you. Well, I'm gonna dig a hole out where I'll go. Oh, scared, scared, not happy. Scared. Well, what's the matter, Sai? I'm glad you asked. A giant snowball is rolling down Mount Zabumufu. It will mean our destruction, yes. Then my mind thought for a minute, and then I knew what to do to save Zabu Land. Never fear, Zabu the Super Lemur to the rescue. So I leapt to the mountain and stood in the way of the snowball. Ha! But then, all of a sudden, the snowball and I landed right in the middle of a goobleberry jelly patch. We feel happy now that you have saved Zabu Land. Goobleberry snow cone. And we ate goobleberry snow cones till we couldn't eat any more. The end. Time's up, Zabu. Are you ready for your next exercise? Is a bear cub ready to wrestle? Zabu the super lemur is always ready. Well, then Zabu's ready for the super duper superhero machine. And this is how you work it, Zabu. You sit here and you pull on this, and that lifts up the weight in these baskets. This is gonna be easy, easy, easy. <laughs> All right, you load up right in there, you got it. And that's the way to hang on. Zabu's trainers are ready to be his weights. Do you think he can lift two bear cubs, Zabu? Oh, sure. One for each arm. <laughs> here goes. Okay, Muscly, you ready to go up? What about you, Muscles? Okay, here we go. Go, Super Lemur, go! You 
Use those lemur muscles, Abu. You're doing it. <laughs> that one, brothers. What Keep should I going. do? I can't hold it much more. <laughs> I uh, meant to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Great huh? job, buddy. <laughs> Zabu, you did it. You lifted two bear cubs. Great. There you go. Let's see Zabu. You're right. That's pretty good. After lifting two whole bear cubs, I think my arms deserve a snack. In fact, they deserve any snack they want. Power snacks coming up. Power snacks. <laughs> Put the ingredients in here. And then, over here, we start pumping up the blenders. This is going to be the best garbanzo bean energy drink Zabu's ever had. In fact, it'll be the only garbanzo bean energy drink Zabu's ever had. Hmm, the bear cubs look hungry, too. We need energy drink for bear cubs. Bear milk. Bear milk coming up. <laughs> Hear that? They're hungry. All right. OK, everybody ready? Go. Drink up. <laughs> wow. I think I feel my muscles getting strong again. Exactly, Sabu, because food makes your muscles grow. Listen to them suck. You can really hear it. Upside down milk drink. Goes down a lot easier that way. Whoa. Look how he's grabbing onto my arm. <laughs> he loves this milk. And bear cubs need to drink their mother's milk every one or two hours. The mother rolls on her back, the cubs climb on and drink their fill. Now bear milk has a lot of fat in it that helps the cubs grow big and strong. Going, 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 gone. Huh? Hey, what's that? Sounds like kittens. <gasps> there they are. I can't believe my mind. They got up there, but they can't get down. Oh, no. And they're scared. They need our help. I'll save you, kittens. <laughs> Never fear. <laughs> Zabu, the super lemur, is here. I'm OK. Uh, yeah, I meant to do that. Now, let's see. Excuse me. Kittens, kittens, I have to save some kittens. Ah, there they are. Kittens, on my way. <laughs> Jump in here, kittens. I'll save you. <laughs> Great idea, Zabu. Now just lower him down. OK, lemur muscles, this is it. That's right, Zabu, nice and easy. You're doing great, buddy. OK, just a little further. You did it. Oh, Hey, you two. <laughs> Got him. Safe and sound. Good going, Super Lemur. All right, Super Lemur. Super Lemur. I did it. I'm Zabu the Super Lemur. I help animals everywhere. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel Super Lemurish. How about you, Super Lemurish? I feel Super Lemurish. Super lemurish. I'm a superhero lemur saving creatures everywhere. Super lemurish. <laughs> oh, oh, Musley, you and Muscles were the best trainers ever. You helped me to get strong. <laughs> See you later, guys. There they go. Back to the wild. Yeah. I'm Zabu the Super Lemur, helping creatures everywhere. Well, I help rabbits and kittens and... Incoming duck! Huh? Ducks? Yeah, I help ducks. <laughs> well, he's not a duck. He's Moonface the Barn Owl. Do you know why they're called Barn Owls? Well, because they like to live in old barns sometimes. That's right. <laughs> why else would they be called Barn Owls? <laughs> hey, a message from the animal helpers. Oh. Hi. Elise and I have a very important project going. Frogs are in trouble all over the world. So we're helping them out by making them a home right here in our marsh. You see, before frogs are frogs, they're tadpoles. And before they're tadpoles, they're eggs. And a lot of animals like to eat those eggs, like salamanders, fish, and herons. So 
those big guys won't be able to get these frog eggs to the mesh. Besides, they have lots of other stuff to eat at the marsh. Once the eggs hatch into tadpoles, they're small enough to get through these holes. This way the frogs have a chance. Save the frogs! Those kids are superheroes too. Yeah, and you don't need to be super strong to be a superhero. You can use your brains. In fact, anybody can be a superhero. But there's only one super lemur. Me. <laughs> I don't fly. I don't leap. I flee! Uh, I meant to do that. Oh. <laughs> There's only one super lemur, but there are other superhero creatures. You thinking what I'm thinking, bro? Oh, I'm thinking what you're thinking. Let's check out some of these superhero creatures. To the closet! They're going to the closet. Guys, wait! You know what's gonna happen if you open the closet? This is a job for super lemur! One. Thanks, Sabu. <laughs> Super lemur! They're no, they're going on a cool adventure, and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet, and they're headed to the door. There are all kinds of incredible creatures here in India. Yep, you just have to keep your eyes peeled. Martin, in the trees. Oh yeah, a langer monkey. And over there, a vulture. And another langer. Wow, the trees are full of all kinds of creatures. Whoa! Oh. Where'd that hole come from? I don't know. But that's what happens when you walk around looking up in the trees for creatures. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. All right, I'm trying to get a grip. Oh. Here, I'll give you a boost. Oh. Here, let me try on this one. No handholds. Here, ready? Here, stand on my, stand on my shoulder or something. Oh, no. Fine, bro. We're in deep, Martin. Oh, yeah, we're in deep. How are we going to get out of this one? I don't know. What? Hey, you hear that? Yeah, I can hear it against the earth. Hey, we're in here! We're stuck! Somebody! What? Anybody! Help! I think it's coming from up there. An elephant trunk! And an elephant! She can save us by using her trunk! <laughs> hey, don't forget about me! Thank you. You're our hero. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, let's do it again. Jump! Whoa! Whoa. Okay, here we go again. Help! Help! <laughs> Elephants are real heroes. Whoa, no <laughs> Your elephant can do anything. All right, you want a hand down? Yeah. Here, let me help you. Out. All right, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Come on so this is your elephant. Does she always save people from holes in the ground? Yeah. <laughs> hey, does your elephant want some food for helping us out? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll give her a reward. I'll get her some sugar cane. Sugar cane, that's perfect. There we go. One of an elephant's favorite snacks is sugar cane. This is nourishment that helps keep her strong. Thanks again, Hero. She really is a creature superhero. See you guys later. Wait till we tell Zabu about this. <laughs> it's great when creatures help other creatures. You hear that, Chris? Yeah, let's see what's going on. And then I single-handedly, nobody helped me, single-handedly lowered all four kittens down to the ground. Mm. It was a great mm. rescue, Sabu. Yeah, thanks. But weren't there only two kittens? Uh, oh yeah. Well, maybe there was only two. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, meet my new partner. Wow, a llama. Yeah. It's amazing to see a llama in Animal Junction. Uh -huh. Usually you find them in the mountains and grasslands of South America. 
And what's really amazing about llamas is the way they eat. Look at that mouth chewing sideways. Take another mouthful and show them. Okay, here you go. See that? They just grind up their food that way. And when you eat a lot of grass, you have to grind it up really well because grass is hard to digest. From down here, you can really tell how tall a llama is. About six feet. And they're powerful, too. A llama can carry loads of 100 pounds. Makes them really good for creature adventuring. See that split lip? That actually helps them grab onto grass. I love how a llama has huge lower teeth, but really no upper teeth at all. Llamas chew their cud, just like cows do. And you can see he has a cheek full of cud right there. Let's see if he swallows it. Up, oh, went down. Wait for it to come. Oh, there it goes. Did you see it? Oh, oh, let's see that again. Yeah. It's right in his cheek now. <laughs> hey, Zabu, why do you call him Shooter? Yeah, I call him Shooter because of his superhero superpowers. His superpowers? Oh, you didn't know about them? Show him your superpowers, Shooter. Oh, you mean the way a llama can <laughs> spit. <laughs> Spitting is one of the ways a llama defends himself. When he spits, he says, back off. And a llama really knows how to say it. Hey, you and Shooter make a great team, Zabu. Yeah, I can even sleep on him when we're tired from saving someone. Oh, well, look how soft he is. <sighs> Llama fur is so soft and warm. I know it looks really thick, but when you look closely, it's very fine. Right, Chris? Right. All this thick wool helps keep a llama warm, and it also keeps people warm sometimes. Some people in South America shave the llama's wool and then make sweaters out of it, like this one. So uh, you were helping people creatures even before we met up. You're a great superhero partner. I had another superhero partner kind of like you in uh, Sabu land. I was leaping along, <laughs> leap, 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 when I almost leaped, whoa, right into Wiggy Waxwing. <laughs> What's the matter with everyone? We're hungry, Zabu. Yeah, there's only one Goobleberry bush left for all of us. Just one. Oh. Must eat, must eat, must oh, eat. Oh, no, uh, Goobles gonna eat all the Goobleberries. Oh, Never oh, fear, oh, Zabu the oh, Super oh, Lemur is here. Oh, oh wait, 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 Goobble. Inside these goobleberry fruits are seeds. Well, if we plant these seeds in the ground, a whole new goobleberry bush will grow, and we'll have lots of goobleberries. But how are we going to plant them then? I can't dig with these small arms. I can dig holes. Great idea, Noggin Drill. So I called Bugly and jumped on his back with a pile of goobleberries with Narchi underneath. So while Noggin Drill dug holes, I loaded Narchi's nose, and he blew Goobleberries in all the little holes all over Zabu land. Goobel kicked the dirt over the seeds, and before long, new Goobleberries grew all over Zabu land. Yeah, hey, it worked! Ah. A super lemur saved the day with his brains! I love that lemur. And everyone had lots to eat. The end. <laughs> Great story, Zabu. Thanks. <laughs> hey, and you know, these little puppies, they're wrestling and playing just like you like to do. Yeah. And wrestling and playing, that builds up their muscles. Oh, well, great. I'm ready. Come on, let's play. The <laughs> <laughs> well, Zabu is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> well, I better go get some sleep so I can help some more creatures tomorrow. Bye, brothers. See you later, Zabu. I mean, super lemur. Hey, why stop now? Why don't we go help some more creatures? Manatees? Yes. Let's go. Keep on using your superpowers, everybody. Hi, I'm Dylan, and this is my pet dog, Jake. Can you feel it? Hey, 
Chris, what do you feel like doing? I don't know. What do you feel like doing? I don't know either. <gasps> Look who's here. Lost and found. Hey. <laughs> what do you think he feels like doing? High five. Remember when Lost and Found was just a little puppy? Now look how big he is. You've really grown, boy. High five. Yeah, you always love that, huh, buddy? Hey, I wonder what Sabu feels like doing. Where is that little leaping lemur anyway? Zaboomafu! Zaboomafu! Buddy! What do you feel like doing, Zabu? You want to jump around? You want to swing? You want to climb? What do you want to do? <laughs> Come on, what do you feel like doing? I don't know why I bothered asking. You know what he feels like doing, right? Yeah, he feels like having a snack. Hey, Martin, what do we have? Apples. You lost and found? Bring it to Chris. Lost and found that way. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Thanks a lot, boy. Here you go, Zabu. How about an apple? With a little dog spit sauce. Yeah, we have apples today. Here you go, Zabu. Zabu, here you go. Give me Zabu the food! <laughs> Great apple, but next time, don't be so skimpy on the dog spit sauce. <laughs> I feel great, and I feel like doing a lot of stuff today, but I don't know exactly what. Do you? I can't believe my mind the creature I saw on my way here. <laughs> who? I know who, but you have to guess. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Ooh, okay, okay. She had ears like Martin and eyes like Chris. Do you know who she is yet? Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Bogatia. Bogatia. Animal. She had lots of hair all over her body, and she was looking for something to do. She was bored. <laughs> Creature, and you've met her before. Do you know who she is? Well, she has ears like me, uh -huh. eyes like me. She's uh -huh. hairier than both of us, uh -huh. and she was bored. Yeah. Ah, who can? Sounds like somebody we know. Uh -huh. Wait a second. <gasps> a chimpanzee. <laughs> Maniac's back again. All right. <laughs> huh? Hey. <laughs> Hi, Brainiac. Mongatsika, mystery animals here. I told you she looked like the brothers. Her eyes are like yours, Chris. You're right, Sabu. She does have eyes like me. Eyes to see, see, see. See? Oh, yeah, I see. Now let's look at her ears. Okay. They're my ears. Now where's your ear? There it is. No, they look the same, and they hear the same. No. <laughs> she likes to wrestle around like we do. Don't you, huh? <laughs> look at these chimp hands. They're a lot like ours are. Except her fingers are a lot longer to wrap around tree limbs. They pick things, too. She's picking my nose. Now that's what I call friendship. Look at these feet. They're almost like hands. And that's another thing that's a lot alike. Our feet. Hey, what are you doing when that tickles? Oh, you're grooming. Exactly. Apes and monkeys groom each other to say, hey, I like you, let me help you out. Grooming each other makes them all feel part of the group and makes everybody feel good. Yeah, this does make me feel good. Have you ever had your toes cleaned by a chimpanzee? <laughs> I think Brainiac wants to do something. It's amazing how humans and chimpanzees are so much alike. But even though we're so much alike, do you realize that some people... Hey, what are you doing? Don't trip me. Do you realize that some people don't even think chimps have feelings? 
they do have feelings. And one way you can tell is by looking at the faces they make. Now check out these two chimps. When they open their mouths wide, you know they're having fun. That's called the play face. Of course she has feelings. All animals have feelings. You don't have to tell us. And if there's any animal who can show you that animals have feelings, it's the chimpanzee. And the dog, hey, lost and found. All dogs have feelings, including the African wild dogs. When the adults come home from the hunt, they're really happy to see their pups. And the pups are sure happy to see the adults. They all wag their tails, jump around, and make a lot of happy sounds. So, it's easy to see that chimps and dogs definitely have feelings. Hey, I wonder how these two feel about each other. Well, let's find out. Brainiac, meet Lost and Found. Lost and Found, meet Brainiac. Here we go. Well, I think Lost and Found likes Brainiac. Huh? Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> They're not sure yet. Aww. That's nice. They like each other. <laughs> I don't think Brainiac knows what to think. But no. She's never met a dog yeah. before. Their yeah. first time. Hey, I think they want to do stuff. So let's all go do stuff together. <laughs> what do you feel like doing? Any ideas, Brainiac? Mm -hmm. And what about you, Lost and Found? What do you feel like doing? Hmm, they're bored. Bored, 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 bored. They both want to do something, but they don't know what. Well, that happens to me sometimes. Does it ever happen to you? Yeah, a lot of creatures feel that way sometimes. Well, when you're feeling that way, there's only one thing to do. Find something fun to do. I think Lost and Found has an idea. He's figured out what he feels like doing. Let's play ball. <laughs> Let's play! So many balls before. Nice catch! <laughs> Lost and Found loves playing with balls. So do jackals. They love playing with elephant dung balls. There you go, Lost and Found. Uh oh. Brainiac looks bored. Brainiac, do you want to play ball? Uh -huh. wanna... She doesn't want to play ball. Hmm. Oh. Lost and Found loves playing ball. Oh, come on, Brainiac. You'll really love it. Here, Chris. Want to play ball? What do you think? No. Brainiac doesn't feel like playing ball. She doesn't? You sure you don't want to play? I'll play if you play. No, oh, she doesn't want to. Every creature has their own things that they like to do, and Brainiac just doesn't like playing with balls. Hmm. I have to think of something that'll make everybody happy. That's my mission. Now, what would make both a dog and a chimp happy? What are you doing, Brainiac? Well, that's it, climbing. Climbing always makes me happy. Let's go climb. Come on, Lost and Found, go arm over arm. Do it like this. Yeah, yeah. this is great. Yeah, this is fun swinging and hanging. You are the best swinger and climber that I've ever climbed with. Isn't she great? Whoa, check out orangutans too. See how her feet grab onto the vines? She uses her hands and her feet at the same time. Imagine what it would feel like to be such a great swinger. Oh. But you know what? It doesn't look like Lost and Found is having that much fun. What was I thinking? Lost and Found can't climb. Oh, lost and Found is not happy. We need to find something we can all do. Oh, hey, what are you doing now, Brainiac? Yeah, how about this way? Uh-oh. Chris and Brainiac are playing Wrestle and Chase. <laughs> and look at Martin and Lost and Found. They're doing the same thing. This is a good game. Wrestle and Chase. Wrestle and Chase. <laughs> This is what everybody wants to do. Now everybody feels great. Yeah, this is a game we can all play together. <laughs> How do you play? Everybody chase everybody. Whoa, try and catch me. 
<laughs> Here I come, Brainiac. I got you. Now it's time for a wrestling chase. Ooh. Wrestling and chasing! <laughs> so are we! Huh? <laughs> Wrestle and chase is a favorite game with lots of creatures, like Langer Monkeys. Creatures love wrestling and playing, just like you do. And what about Brainiac? And Lost and Found? You think they feel like playing this game together? I think this is it! This is the game everybody feels like playing! Look at how much fun they're having! I did it! I found the thing to do that we all feel like doing together! together. Well, if you didn't know it before, you've got to know it now. Creatures have feelings. And everybody in Animal Junction is happy. Well, and I'm really happy, because I accomplished my mission. I found something that made both Lost and Found and Brainiac happy. And it sure was a lot easier than the time I tried it in Sabu Land. I was leaping along, leap, leap, looking for somebody to leap with me when I bumped whoa, whoa. into Bugly. Whoa! <laughs> You like leaping Whoa. around with me, Bugly? Hey, Zabubidi Doo, I dig flying around. We'll catch you later. If you don't catch me, that well, is. <laughs> okay, I said. So I kept leaping along until I ran into Wiggy. Ooh. Hey, Wiggy, do you feel like leaping with me? I love Rotoros! And Wiggy flew away. That's when I bumped into Oof, Narchi. Oh, hi, Narchi. Oh, hi, Noggin Drill. Hi, Zabu. I'm looking for someone who feels like leaping around with me. Not now, huh? thanks. Oh, well, maybe another time. I'm too busy doing but, other things. Oh. Places to go, people to see. Bye Narchi, now. Narchi, no one feels like leaping around with me. Uh, everybody feels like doing their own thing, Zabu. Hey, I know what everybody likes. A party with a big what? cake. Oh. 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 oh, cake is good, yeah. Mm, let's go. Hey, wow. cool idea, Zabu. My food tasty, too. And it turned out to be the best party oh, we'd ever had. The end. So what did you think of my story, buddies? I can't believe it. They didn't even listen to my story. I, oh, I'm so sad. I'm crushed. I'm just a, uh, I, I, oh, I can't go on. <laughs> Brainiac, lost and found. <laughs> just kidding. I don't mind if they didn't feel like listening to my story. <laughs> go ahead and do whatever makes you happy. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing. I can do. I feel creatureish. How about you, creatureish? I feel creatureish. Creatureish. I'm a creature who has feelings and I feel them all the time. Creatureish. It got me. Duck. Duck? Where? Oh. They meant that kind of a duck. Hi, Moonface. Well, here's a question for you. Huh? Does a bird like Moonface have feelings? Well, of course Moonface has feelings. All birds have feelings. All creatures have feelings. Why would anybody even think any different? Let's see if the animal helpers know. Hi, Zabu. Hi, Chris. Hi, Martin. I'm showing the animals off to my dad. We're here. They are all different colors. No fighting. Here's food to go to. I like being friends with animals. Little cow over here. He says, Cheetah, you don't smell like a cow. You smell like a human. <laughs> I have a great time playing with all these animals. Bye, Zabu. What about fish? Well, hmm? there's only one way to find out. <laughs> They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. It's now or never. Do it, brother. 
Yeah. You're right. No, I'm right, right, set it off. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go! They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. Hey! Hmm? Why do we always go by land? Let's go by water. There's so much to see down there. Yeah, and besides, fish have feelings too. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Bye, Bye brothers! It might be a little hard to tell if fish have feelings, but they definitely feel safe swimming in schools. And parrotfish feel great when they find some coral to eat. Of course fish have feelings, because fish are creatures too. India! This looks like a great spot. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> Hold on. Now that's lucky. An elephant and a bunch of kids. Talk about creatures with feelings. And it looks like they're ready to have fun. Come on in! <laughs> the water's great! <laughs> An elephant loves to jump in the water. Whoa. Hey, what's her name? My name is Tara. 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 Get the brushes, guys. Hey, you got your brushes, right? Hey, thanks. Hey, guys. All right, let's brush you. Hey, you want to try it? Get One thing an elephant loves is a good scrub down. I'll brush your trunk. Look at these kids. It looks like they're happy and having fun, right? Yeah, and now what do you think about Tara? Do you think she's having fun? Oh, she's having really fun. <laughs> yeah, she's happy, right? You having fun, Tara? <laughs> she loves it. Trunk scrubbing time, and this is a long, long job. Yeah. Right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, can I can I scrub your trunk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my brush. Okay, I'll scrub yours at the same time. Yeah, we're scrubbing. It's shower time. Now it's snack time. And sugar cane is a great snack for an elephant. Hey, check this out. If you look up there, you can see her too. Keep your eyes peeled. You'll see it again. There's the tooth right there. You see it? It weighs about nine pounds. Did you see that tooth? An elephant likes sugar cane because it's really yes, sweet. Yes. See, in all these fibers, it's full of sugar. And if you want, you can eat. And me? Are you, let me see you eat it. No, what's you? No, no, you no, first. You, no, come on, please, no, that's I you. Wanna... Hey, I know who will eat first. Tara! Yeah! <laughs> what a great creature. Hey, do you guys think elephants have feelings? Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, how do you think she feels right now? Nice. Nice? Nice. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Yeah, there's no doubt about it. When you look at an elephant, you gotta know, creatures have feelings. Wow, that was great. But now it's time to head out. Let's hit the trail. Jello! Jello! Do you even have feelings? No, oh, I'm getting nowhere. <sighs> oh, hey, brothers! I need some help over here! What's going on now? Shark, the chameleon! I'm not feeling any feelings from Shark, and I thought all creatures had feelings, and now I'm confused. Chris, are we definitely sure that all animals have feelings? Yeah, we're sure. <sighs> Take a bird, for example. Birds make all kinds of sounds to express their feelings. Are we sure we're sure? Of course we're sure. Well, how can we be sure? We have to look closer. Because in some creatures, feelings aren't always that easy to see. A chameleon's a reptile, like this iguana. And sometimes it's hard to tell what a reptile is feeling. But if you look closely, you can see their feelings. This animal lizard shows his big red throat when he's feeling territorial. You know, when you really think about it, so many of us creatures, including the monitor lizard, share the same feelings. Yeah, we all know what it's like to feel happy, hungry, tired, or even itchy. 
Martin, Chris, look at Shark. Hey, what's the matter? You look different. Brothers, Shark's color has changed. Well, look, he's dark now. He was light before because he was calm and happy, but now he's dark because something's bothering him. He changed color because he's nervous? Exactly, Zabu. Chameleons and animal lizards can change their color depending upon their mood, the background, or the temperature. Watch him change from green to brown. Did you see that? Well, he's not happy even. He's scared, but why? Hmm? That's why two crazy play creatures are headed this way. And chameleons don't really like to play. Well, don't worry. I'll save you. I'll, uh, I'll distract them. Hey, uh, lost and found. Hey, look, a, a ball. Wanna play? You want to play wrestling? Chase again. Come on. <laughs> I hope you guys are happy. I'm keeping them busy. Well, okay. Being a lemur in Animal Junction is tough sometimes. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I gotta keep you busy. I gotta keep you away from Shark. <sighs> okay, Shark, I distracted them. Well, how do you feel now? I hope you're feeling happy. Huh? Shark? Huh? Uh-oh. Why do I feel like someone has my tail in their mouth? Oh, no! Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Legs don't let go! Go! I'm okay. Oh, I lost and found. <laughs> oh, this reminds me of one time in Zabu Land. <laughs> not, not that tickles. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap. 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 When I found Noggin Drill and baby Zabumafuasaurus hiding behind a tree. Hey, guys, what are you doing behind that tree? Uh, are you hiding uh, from something? Uh, oh, um, I can't talk now, Zabu. Uh, Gotta go. That's yeah. me. I, I'm out of uh, here. Uh, 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 wait for me! What is the matter with everyone? And then I heard a voice. I'm only trying to say hello. Who said that? Oh, hello. My name is Sai. I come for a friendship. Do you want to play? I told him we all like to play, and I threw him a goobleberry. Whoa, oh, this is a fun game. game. Hey, yeah. right. Ah, thanks. Yeah. Oh, over here, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. So we all played Goobleberry Catch, and no one was afraid of our new friend Sai anymore. Hey, hey, oh, nice cat. Hey, Shark must have really liked my story. <laughs> He's happy and hungry. Manga Tsika, look at his tongue. No, oh, let's see it again. <laughs> Nice shot. All full, Shark? He's happy now. And you know what? Snacks make me feel happy, too. Yeah. All animals have feelings, and all animals are friends of mine. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his fiery behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names. But we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. I feel great, ready to leap. <laughs> okay, legs, take me home. Back to Madagascar. Leap. leap. There goes Zabu. <laughs> and now that you know it, you can tell everybody else creatures, creatures have feelings too. We'll see you next time. Chris, I feel like kayak. Me too. Hi, my name's Aaron. This is my pet Marchuk.